Hi guys, Dave here with you. Thanks for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified when we post new videos. And if you can take time to leave a comment, we really would appreciate it. It helps us a lot. We got a special treat today. I have an opportunity to cook in beautiful Montana. Never been here before, and I gotta tell you, I'm coming back. This place is great. Let me show you. But look at the beautiful mountain with the snow on it. We did get snow the first day we were here, but it's melted. It's really cool. Big old long deer trail down here on the bottom. We've seen so many deer passing by here, and they're just beautiful. It's late October, the last week of October, and the temperature's been just wonderful. Hey, a bluebird just flew by. Did you see that? I mean, it just doesn't get any better, guys. This place is awesome. We're at the Whitefish Montana Ski Resort, and we rented this cabin, this, this place for a week or so, and just having a grand time. So if you can ever get to Montana, I really recommend it. This place is beautiful. The temperature is awesome. This Florida boy is loving this cool weather, let me tell you. So guys, here we are in beautiful Montana, and I got to thinking about what could I cook that would be suitable for and memorable for the trip out here. And I came up with the idea of let's cook some bison burgers. Now, it's not something I'd cook in Florida. So let me show you real quick what we're gonna cook. We've got a couple of bison burgers, cast iron skillet, some butter, some cheese, some onions, and some bread, and some buns, and some garlic. So let's get the grill turned on. Today, this is a Weber Spirit. It's got three burners going front to back and one across the back. Get these burners lit. Another thing that's new to me is I'm cooking where this, this grill is hooked up to natural gas. Now all my grills and griddles and everything are propane. So we're gonna have to see how natural gas acts. I know a lot of you guys cook on natural gas and we'll just see how that goes. I'm gonna cook these bison burgers in butter and a cast iron skillet. So the first thing I wanna do now that I'm getting this warmed up, is I want to put some butter in this little pot here to get warmed up. Let's just do it all. Okay. All right, we've had our pan and, and our butter melting, so wait, we have to have some refreshment. I'm, it's a little drier in Montana than I'm used to, so we need some, we need to hydrate, hydrate, right? Hydrate, okay, here we go. Mm. So we're at 500 degrees on our Weber, and we're almost, and let's see what we got. Looking good, our butter has melted. This is kind of weird. Yeah, so our butter has melted, let's put that up there. We got our cast iron skillet that we're gonna cook our food in. I don't think we need this burner on anymore. I'm gonna turn that off for now. So we're first gonna cook some onions and some garlic and some butter in the cast iron skillet to have something to put on the burger in a few minutes. So let's put some butter in. They didn't have a basting brush, which I would have liked, but we're gonna put some butter down. Oh yeah, that looks good. That looks nice and hot. All right, so put that in there. Put that over there. And let's put some onions in here to cook. Oh, that sure cooled down in a hurry. All right, it's probably still good. These onions are cold. We'll let them start cooking. All of them. Put a little garlic in there. Get some good flavor from that. I don't know if you guys use this minced garlic from the jar. I kind of like it. Um, I actually like to get the juice from the bottom and cook with that too. So we're going to stir that around. You can't go wrong with butter, onions, and garlic in a cast iron skillet. It's just awesome. It's always going to be good. So let's let that cook a while. I'm gonna to have to shut the lid. It cooled down a little more than I expected, so let's shut the lid and just let that cook a minute. This is fun cooking with stuff if you've never cooked before. It's, it's like, puts a little challenge into it. It's not your normal kitchen, the normal stuff you cook with, but it's, it's fun. I'm having a blast out here. 
you know, the air is great. It's, it's 50 degrees right now. Just wonderful. I can't tell you how much I love Montana. This is super. All right, guys, it's been about 10, 15 minutes that the onions have been cooking and the cast iron skillet's been heating back up. Let's take a look and see how we're doing. So we're at 420 degrees. Let's take a look. Oh, they're looking good. Wow, look at that. Give them a stir. Oh yeah, they're getting caramelized. All that buttery goodness. Just a couple more minutes. We'll take these off and be ready to go to the next step. All right guys, let's take a look and see how we're looking. That's great. I think it's time to put these onions into a bowl so let's, that's off so let's take these guys oh this is nice this cast iron skillet's got a lip on it and we're going to put them in here okay. yeah looking good okay now what i want to do is i want to cook these burgers and a little bit of this juice and some more butter. So let's put some more of this onion flavored oil back in there and then we'll add some butter to it. Yeah. Looking good. Okay. Yeah, right there. We're going to let this butter that I just put back in there and a little more butter we're gonna let that warm up get all the way as as hot as we can get it so that when we put the burgers in there they'll sear, sear real nice it'll be great all right guys our skillets heated back up time to cook a burger let's go we got our cast iron skillet nice and hot and we're gonna take the burger all right there to cook other one right beside it looking good now I'm gonna shut this and just let this cook for a minute hi guys let's take a look and see how it's looking oh that's looking good it's sizzling great perfect let's take our spatula and see how it's looking as far as whether it's oh Oh yeah, really nice, really nice. That oniony butter, it's going to make these burgers taste phenomenal. We'll give it a second. Let's shut the lid again and give it another minute to really get as much crispiness and caramelization as we can. Alright guys, it's been a couple minutes. Let's take a look and see if they're ready to flip yet. Yeah, they might be. Let's go, let's go take a look. Yeah, they're yeah, that's that's pretty good. You can see how it's crusty on the outside. Oh yeah. These are gonna be such good thick juicy burgers, I can't wait. Alright guys, it's been a few minutes. Let's see how we're looking. Oh, they're looking great. I'm gonna turn them over and just see. Yeah, yeah, looking good. Okay. So I'm gonna pick that up and let the juices flow. Good. Now one of the things that I do to check the doneness is I'll take and just put a little opening right here and then I'll see how clear that juice is. You see that's the little red, a little pink coming out of there. When it comes out just barely clear, then you know that you've got that burger, well, the way I like it. If you want it really rare, then right now it would be good because that's a red juice coming out of there. All right, guys, it's been just a couple more minutes, maybe even 60 seconds. So let's see how we're looking here on these and see if it's time to put some cheese on them. Looking good, looking good. Okay, take a quick look. See? Oh, yeah, that's good because by the time I flip them over, put the cheese on them, let them melt, 
Let that cheese melt. Take them off. They'll finish cooking. Let's get these guys cheesed up. Now I'm using Colby Jack, which is a cheese that I just love. And I'm going to turn the temperature down. Shut the lid and let them cook for a moment. Okay, we got some cheese on them. Now let's take a look and see how that cheese is melting and start thinking about how we're going to do our buns. Okay, the cheese is starting to melt. I'm going to move these up to the warming rack and let that cheese finish melting. And they'll continue to cook just a moment while that's taking place. And in the meantime, I'm going to turn this burner on. Let that get lit. Okay, that's lit. These guys are down. Move this forward. Put a little more butter in there. Like so. And then I'm going to take the buns and move them around in the butter and get them toasted. Let me move this butter around a little bit right here. Get that good flavor all over. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Okay. That good butter flavor on there. We're going to put this over here where this has been hot already. Hot. That over there. These guys aren't going to take long. To get toasty, yeah. Give them just one minute. All right, let's check the buns. I think they're plenty toasty for this. Pick them up. Oh yeah, they see the grill mark? That looks good. Oh, that's nicely toasted, and it soaked up all that good butter, onion, burger juice. Doesn't get any better than that. Oh yeah, those guys are good. Let's put our burger on it. Oh, I can't wait. Get some onions on top. How, how does that look, guys? That look like something you'd want to eat? Sure does to me. Wait, there's more. Okay. Yeah, great. All right, we got them all pretty much assembled. Let's put the lid on them, cut them in half, and taste it. I can't wait, this will be good. Oh, wait, we got a little onion right there. Okay. Put that lid on it, put that lid on that one. Give her a cut. Oh yeah, all these buns. These are Kaiser rolls, they're really good. Let's take a look and see how this looks. Perfect for me. I can't wait to eat this. Let's eat this one. Oh, I'm in heaven. No, I'm in Montana. No, I'm in heaven. Same thing. This will be great. Oh, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Bison burgers, who knew? Delicious. The onion. The butter, the garlic, it all comes through. And this bison has got such a unique flavor. It's not gamey at all. It's just delicious. Indulge me while I have another bite, please. Mm. Wow. Oh. Mama, that's good. Guys, thank you so much for staying with me and enjoying this cook. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it, cooking it, presenting it to you. It's just absolutely delicious. I hope you try it. If you like what we're doing, as I said before, please subscribe, hit the bell icon, give us a like, and please comment. The comments mean a lot to us. Here we are in Montana doing a cook, bison burgers. So we're done for today, but stick around. Let's just see what's next with Dave. Thanks. 
and it's going to be bison burger. <laughs> what the hell? Sounds close. Oh, there's somebody shooting. It was backfiring. Yeah, this is trouble. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be doing a lot of cutting now. That's right. That's crazy. 